counting artemia nauplii exactly weigh 1 gram of artemia nauplii collect it in a glass beaker for this you need a sensitive weighing balance to this add 250 ml of sea water mix well and collect 1 ml sample with the help of 1 ml micro pipette 1000 micro liter micro pipette add 1 ml in the first row of tissue culture plate mix well again collect 1 ml sample add the sample to the second row mix well again collect 1 ml sample add to the third row mix well once again collect 1 ml and place it in the fourth row to this add iodine one or two drops of iodine 1% solution add iodine to all the wells it helps in immobilizing artemia improves the contrast and you can also differentiate instar 1 from instar 2 instar 2 takes more color because its mouth is open so adding iodine to all the wells one or two drops you can clearly notice adding iodine immobilizes the artemia so that it will be easy for us to count and improves contrast now observe under stereo microscope count the number of artemia present in each row this is how artemia looks under stereo microscope you can easily differentiate instar 1 from instar 2 instar 2 takes more color because of its mouth open so you can also differentiate in size instar 2 is bigger than instar 1 you can also count unhatched cis if you don't have a stereo microscope you can take picture with the help of your mobile camera this was the picture taken with my mobile camera now count all the nauplia present in all the four rows take a mean value now we know that each ml contains 335 nauplia since we have diluted 1 gram in 250 ml if you multiply by that if you multiply 335.5 with 250 you get 83875 nauplia per gram so nauplia present in 1 gram is 83875 approximately so in order to get total nauplia you multiply nauplia per gram with the weight of the box for example if the weight of the box is 800 grams and you have 83875 nauplia per gram total you get 67.1 million of artemia in that particular day now we know how many nauplia we have in our tray so that it will be easy for our calculation so that we can properly feed our post larvae in order to get high quality high health post larvae thank you very much